Injustice is wildly condemned by everyone, even human rights activists. This begs the question, what is true justice? An aspiring barrister and law graduate from University of Illinois was denied entry into the call to bar ceremony on 13th of December 2017 due to a refusal to remove her hijab. Let's hear the thoughts of some of the female delegates at the 104th Islamic Vacation Course holding at the Human Capital Development Center, Noforija Ekbe. <laughs> My name is Ayub Kabra. I'm from Shimoloya Council. So my name is Lavado Kumwani. I'm an SSC and I'm from God Do Ikot Senior Council. My name is Mustafa Miriam and I'm from Etias Aluka Council. My name is Muhammad Lawa Sophia. I'm a representative of God Ikot Senior Council. My name is Saula Zainab. I'm from Oltikoyo. My name is Elias Abiba and I'm from Ejiberia Council. My name is Agbade Miriam. I am from Baiga Area Council. My name is Abdul Khadija. I am from Ejiberia Council. Yes. Yes. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Also. Yes. Yes. Yes, very right. Because the job she put on is one of the commandments of Allah. And by her putting on, I think it's very right, and they are wrong. And also in the constitution of our country, it is there that freedom of religion. Yes, I think it's a very right cause. She's a Muslim, as a normal Muslim girl, we need to cover our hair, because it's one of the Allah's commandments. We need to cover our hair, cause as a Muslim woman, they, they can't distinguish between a Muslim and a Christian, if you don't wear a hijab. Yes, what she did was right. Because if I was the one to, if it was that they asked me to offer my own hijab too. I'm not going to pull it out because it was among the it was among Allah's con commandments. Yeah, he told us that hijab is our pride. I should not be deprived of it. She's right because it is one of the fundament. It is one of it is one of the fundamental human rights in the Nigerian Constitution that we we have freedom to associate with any religion of our choice. She so she associated with Islam. And one of the fundamentals of Islam is to put on our hijab. And still, the see sits on asking her to pull off her hijab. It is wrong. They are wrong. She's correct. Allah said it in the Quran, Quran chapter 24, verse 31, that Prophet should tell the believing women to put on our hijab to cover our bosom. The part of God's orientation for female in Muslims, we are oriented to cover our hair. Because if we don't, we might be harassed by other people that does not really know anything about the religion. It's very, very weird because it's, it's, Allah said it in the Quran, Quran 34 verse 31. I think good day. We can go for it, then search for it, then I mean I think that would be better. <laughs> I was in a class, and our class is a Christian school, so they allowed a job. So my class was not like, ah, um, honey, you like just covering your hair from your head to toe. Can't you just put on a small one? That was the first time. This that second time was when I entered a new Christian school. So our headmistress was like, ah, no, you can't put on a job. This is not a Muslim school. Can she remove it and throw it in the dustbin? No. Yes, I've been never asked. I'm a student of Kumani Secondary School, Ojo Lagos. It is a mixed school, it is a military school. There, we don't put on hijab, actually. But early this year, we are allowed to put on our hijab. Still, we're talking our hijab. That day was on Wednesday. Early Wednesday morning, we are supposed to have spots. And so, our school RSM, a military man, came to me and another sister. Also, a, uh, also on campsite. That's Maya and Bamiro. Asked to have us to pull off our hijab. But we told him, sir, we don't have to pull off our hijab because it is not disturbing us in any way. We can talk in it if you want us to do. It is not disturbing us. But still, he insisted that we must pull it off. He made his access to kneel on the parade ground where the old student was watching us on a Wednesday morning before 
the commencement of the sport. We were on the parade ground, the middle of the parade ground. He was beating us, trying to pull off his job. We were just holding it back. We were explaining to him. I even told him, I'm a Taekwondo practitioner. I put on my hijab and it doesn't disturb me in any way. I practiced Taekwondo for more than five years and it doesn't disturb me. But still, instead of telling me to pull off my hijab, he beat, he continued to beat the two of us. At a point, me and this, the lady, the students, we went to meet our MSS coordinator. That's one of our teachers, Mr. Akpeta. When we explained to him, he went to meet the sports officer, that's a soldier also, Captain Ame. He asked us, the, his, he, when he met his other colleagues that are soldiers, they also convinced him and asked us to pull off his job also. That very day, our commandant, being the principal of the school, was not around. So he, was, he traveled, he just had to leave there and we did not spot that money. We went to hide in the school mask. The next morning, I got to school very early to meet the commandant in his office. I explained to him on the issue. And when I explained, he was like, he asked children, if, in fact, Muslim children, also in command schools in Niger State, they don't put on the, the roof of their hijab when they're doing sports. You know, we, they have, we have no cause to pull off our hijab during sport. So since then, we've been allowed to put on our hijab. But ever since then, we still have teachers that they don't want us to put on the hijab. So we still face the problem in our school every day. I was embarrassed because of hijab. I was passing through markets and they were like Boko Haram, Boko Haram, Boko Haram because of my hijab. That fateful day, I was just coming back from school. So, walking on the way, the one asked to fly Lazim. Bad Okada man just come and eat me. Was that saying? I was just, I just turned back that, hey, Mr. Man, did you not see? I was not trying to tell me that. I was trying to tell you that. I was trying to tell you that. I was trying to I slapped him. Muslim sisters, we have to be more enlightened because these days, Muslims, we don't really know about our hijab. Most Muslims don't know the reason why they are putting on this hijab. They are putting it on for putting on sake. That's why most people embarrass us on the way that why we're putting on why we're putting on the and they even remove it from us. If you are sticking to this hijab by you putting it on, and anybody that comes your way, just tell the person I'm a Muslim and tell the person the reason why you're putting on hijab. I don't think this embarrass and also our leaders. We should talk to them as in orient them. There should be a light thing about this our religion. I think our government should let us because this is our right, it is our human right. This is the right to worship, freedom of worship, freedom of religion, freedom of conscience. So we need to be very much aware of our religion and also our conscience. We have to start from our leaders. Our leaders are not, we have some Muslim leaders, but they are not, they are not educated about the religion Islam. We should first try to enlighten the public, like aside from the leaders to the masses. We should enlighten them about the religion of Islam. And when I think when they know about it, they will, they will stop this embarrassment. I think we hijab sisters should build our self-esteem and should not let the people calling us Boko Haram should be, we should not be intimidated by the citizen calling us Boko Haram. Ah.